Hi crafty folks, Amy here, and I have a haul video of my recent scrapbook.com order. So, um, I got roped in. There have been some things I've been wanting, um, and so I placed a pretty big order, and I'm just going to set this box aside here and take a little look-see. I kind of forgot everything that I ordered so far, so just bear with me here. Oh, okay. To start, I had to get the new Lumberjack plaid because I don't have it yet, and I do collect all the Distress Oxides. So I got the reinker as well as the new color. This actually was free with my order, so I don't collect the big ones, but um, I don't have this color yet, so this is good to have. And it's a freebie, so yay. Okay, set this aside. Let's see what else we got. Oh, um, you may have seen in a previous video that I ran out of this stuff. Um, this is the Hero Hues sand color, I believe. Yeah, sand. This is really nice cardstock. Make sure it didn't get wrinkled. It didn't. Okay. Um, so standard, you know, you get four A2 size panels out of this. This is 10 sheets. It's a really smooth, nice cardstock. I like it a lot. So I was a little sad when I ran out. Um, let's see here. Okay. My goodness, I went a little overboard. Okay, transparent mats. So these are the scrapbook sticky mats. I wanted to get one for my... Oh, look at this. I got a little, little random tape all over the place. Okay, so one for my mini and then one for my original. So I don't have any sort of sticky mat yet, so um, I thought I'd give these little scrapbook ones a try. So these are, I'll take one out and look at it. Yeah, they have this nice coating here on it. So I'll probably just, I don't know, keep those in my Misty, just so I have them to hold whatever I'm working on down. Okay, now, don't mind me off to the side here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen these new 3D. There's actually even newer ones still. They are really killing me with all these amazing <laughs> 3D embossing folders, but this one is Starry Patterns. Look at that. It's like snowflakes. Very excited. Here's a photo of it. This will make some really quick holiday Christmas card, so I'm excited about that. I have ideas on how I want to use that. Um, also, in the holiday theme, there's this Happy Holidays. So, this is cool because it has Happy Holidays all the way across it, which obviously will make an awesome background, but I'm picturing also cutting it into strips, and then you'd have like a million sentiments ready to go to. So, that's immediately where my mind went, was just different ways to use this. Very clever. Oh, this one, Peaceful Poppies. I love poppies. I don't even know if this one is new, but I do not remember seeing this one, so I was very excited. Isn't that gorgeous? So, maybe it is relatively new, but um, I was excited to get my hands on it. Okay, now this one. This one is special. I haven't gotten any like this. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know there's a word in it, too. Okay, so this is the Alta New, where you can get the embossing folder and the coordinating stencils that go with the embossing folder. So basically it's different layers and that sections off the different parts of what you emboss so that you can ink blend it. And look at that, how pretty. And you can see there's this textured background. It's almost like a, kind of like a honeycomb, but a squished honeycomb maybe. So excited. I've been obsessing over this for a while. And then when I realized that there was coordinating stencils too, I thought, oh my goodness, I got to get it. So very excited about that one. Okay. So that's it for embossing folders. Let's see what else I got. Oh, this greetings. So this is one of the um, Hero Art Stamp and Cut sets. These are great, especially if you're just starting out into card making. Um, I have a bunch of these stamp and cuts that I started using right away when I started making cards just because you can really you know kind of mix and match this has greetings from our home to yours from your biggest fan so it's not just you know holiday or anything like that it's just greetings in general from your cheerleader I thought that was cute 
from Mikasa, your neighbor. Just very cool. I don't think I've seen this one before, so I was pretty excited when I saw that in the shop. Okay, now this... Oh my gosh, I'm just remembering all the stuff that I got. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, this I have been wanting for a long time too. I'm picturing very clean and simple stamped cards with this. Um, this is called Balloon Bunch, but how cool is this? So you have like, I think you layer it. Yeah, you layer it up and look at this. It just looks so reflective and cool with these different highlights and stuff built in. Oh, and it even shows you the little colors that they used in the example, but it's got this string and then it's got make a wish. Let's have a party. Happy birthday. So these would be cool kind of lining them along alongside the the string, but birthday blessings. This calls for a celebration. So this isn't new. This has been around for a long time. Um, I just finally pulled the trigger. It's been on my wish list for, I don't know, probably a couple of years now, but it's very cool and I'm excited to play with that just for some basic stamping. Okay, now these, I'll show you both of these together because they are kind of a similar vein. Um, they're from Paper Rose, so designed in Australia. Um, berry Border Metal Die. And this one is um, Gum Leaf Border Metal Die. So what is cool about these, this one has a stitched, but it doesn't cut them out. It just cuts out the little inner pieces but it doesn't actually cut your paper. So it's not like a rectangle die where it's gonna, you know, cut the whole panel down to size. It's only gonna cut these parts out of it. So you can really kind of put this in and do like a cool, maybe alcohol ink um, background behind it or use it as a cool open part on your card. Um, so I really like this idea. And this, like I said, this one has the stitched, this one doesn't, but these are both really cool floral designs and I'm excited to play with that and of course I have ideas as well okay I got some more all to new goodies this sweet hugs you friend love hey hello thanks and a little comma or an apostrophe um but these are the I'm gonna just open this up because I can't really see them so we're gonna take a little look see okay so you can see the size here. They are, let's see. This suite is about um, two and a, I don't know, just under two and a half inches. Nearly two and a half inches. So let me, well, I don't have an A2 size card base. Shame on me. Um, but anyway, this one is one of the longer ones and that's about Two and a half inches. Oh, thanks. Looks like it's a little bit longer. So, and they're about um, half an inch high, looks like, maybe. Yeah, a little over half an inch. So, um, not huge, but I really like the layering and I like the font. I think the font is really neat. And they would do well with like a sub sentiment. So, um, I'm always all about the dyes because you guys know I like to make my own backgrounds. So, sorry about the clanking of the ruler around here. Okay, then this one. I don't know if I don't know if this is new, but I have never seen this before. I've never seen anybody use this. Um, I just happened upon it in the shop, and I was like, "What is that? That's amazing!" Um, so it's all these little sentiment strips, and it cuts out all the words. So no little fiddly bits, nothing like that. Um, very excited. So it's got lots of just general here for you. You're so kind. Hang in there, so grateful, happy birthday. And they're they're a nice size. So, you know, you can leave them kind of open like this, or you could just put like, I don't know, a little piece of white cardstock behind it if you need to kind of fill in that space. But I thought these were so cool. And like I said, maybe they're new or maybe they've been around forever and I've just this is 2020. So they must be they must have been around for a while. So I don't know. I just think they're really cool. So <laughs> I was excited to get these. And then the very last thing. Um, you guys know I'm all about saving time and batching. This is one stamp and this is one die. And look at these cool shapes. So it's going to cut out all these sentiments here with these cool different shapes. I don't know if you can see that very well. But I was very excited. Um, 
And again, this is like birthday related, thinking about you on your special day. Today we celebrate you, so I make so many birthday cards, so I really love having... A, oh, here's a better picture of that, obviously. <laughs> so you can see these cool... I don't know, some are rounded, some are fishtail. So I just thought this was really cool. And this would be cool to just, you know, die cut out some plain white cardstock, and then you could fit whatever other sentiments you have in there. These are just really cool shapes. So I thought that was different and cool and... Um, yeah, so that is going to complete my haul. <laughs> uh, thanks for sticking around with me to the end. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will be sure to post lots of uh, crafty videos with these goodies. So thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.